This entire investigation began when a public interest group made a complaint a little more than a year ago. Now that their complaint has turned into an indictment, the Texans for Public Justice group is asking Governor Perry to step down. Chris Sadegi has more from the group largely responsible for the criminal case against the governor. I, I, I think we're happy that our work pays off. A small public interest group like us can hold top politicians accountable. And that accountability started last June when Craig McDonald and Texans for Public Justice heard Rick Perry's vow to veto funding to the Travis County DA office if Rosemary Lindbergh didn't resign. Our ears picked up. It said, this is against the law. This can't be. Uh, we re researched the law and we filed a complaint. The governor sometimes acts like a bully and he was trying to bully the Travis County DA into giving up her job. The complaint said Perry broke four laws. The grand jury agreed he broke two. And even though he is not guilty until proven so in court, McDonald says a two felony indictment itself is a big enough blow to the governor's leadership. We believe a governor under indictment uh, ought to consider stepping down from the job. No matter the outcome from here, a message has been delivered according to McDonald. Even the governor of this state is not above the law. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Texans for Public Justice is the same group that brought complaints against former House Majority Leader Tom DeLay and a current candidate for Attorney General Ken Paxton.